Hello, hello gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. So guys, from the title of this video, you probably noticed that this is another unboxing from a new to me store on AliExpress. Now, this is a store whose name I'm never going to be able to pronounce. <laughs> But obviously the name of the store is in the title of this video and it will also be in the description and I will also link the store below. So if you do like what you see here and you're interested in trying them out or checking out their store, then please do use the link below. So to my English language tongue, I'm going to pronounce the store as the Piao Xu store. So, like I said, this is a new to me store on AliExpress. I ordered from them so that I can do a canvas from them for my AliExpress showdown series. Right, so what you have on the screen right now is basically what came inside the package. I don't want to say the box because AliExpress diamond paintings don't normally, 90% of the time, they don't come in a box. What many of them or how many of them come now is they pretty much come rolled around a foam roller and then they come in a plastic protective um, sort of like packaging or sheath. Let me show you what one looks like. So basically these are what they look like. They are plastic. They are filled with air in these different cylinders here and then the diamond painting is wrapped up in the middle and this is wrapped up like this. So this is pretty much how this diamond painting arrived. Um, also to note that I can't remember because I did un unbox this, unroll this, whatever we want to say, untube it um, about a week ago. And I can't remember now if elastic bands were used or if this store used a little piece of tape. I think they might have used a little piece of tape because I'm not seeing any marks on the canvas that could have been the elastic bands, but I don't remember specifically. Anyway, nothing turns on that. Let's now have a look at what comes with this diamond painting. So firstly, you have your toolkit. As always, these are standard AliExpress toolkits. I'm not going to unbox it. This toolkit has a pen with a single placer. There's no multi-placer. You have a standard white tray, a red square of wax, four or five baggies, and also a pair of tweezers. Even though this is a round drill kit, I am noticing that many AliExpress stores are even including these, well, I call these the very cheap versions of tweezers. So that is pretty much your standard toolkit. Nothing to rave about there, but nothing wrong with it either. It will do the job. Then included is this paper legend. So as you can see, everything on the legend is very, very clear. Let's just have a quick look at the art. So this is a piece of art that I created. It's digital art. It's fairly simple and straightforward. It's just an Asian dragon. I did try to get a lot of different color in there in terms of the oranges and the reds and the blues. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to come out on the painting, but we will have a chat about that. And I ordered this in the size 50 by 50 centimeters, and it is a round drill painting. Now to have a closer look at the legend, as you can see, the legend is very, very clear. Although these, you know, are very large. If you're thinking that you have to cut these out and put them on your storage containers, it's going to be problematic to get the symbol and the DMC number in because this is a fairly large section. Um, if you are using those small round, you know, the round cylindrical type storage containers, then you're definitely going to battle you might just have to use the symbol only. I'll see. I'll see what I'm going to do. But basically, you have the symbol, you have the DMC number, you have the number of drills, and then the number of bags. So I note that these have all been ticked off, except for, if you guys can see there, the 902, of which I was supposed to get 12 bags. So let's hope the 902 is not missing. I will maybe, when we have a look at the drills, try and have a look at that because it is the only one that doesn't have a tick next to it anyway as you can see in this diamond painting we will have numbers we will have letters and then only the last two symbols 
or numbers, I should say, or the last two colors are actually symbols. Now, what you can see here is that these last three have an R at the end. Now, these must be the AB drills. Um, I didn't actually remember that ABs were included in this kit, but I've now noticed that they are because I was having a look. I haven't actually taken the drills out of the bag, but I was having a look, you know, just viewing the bag and I could see some ABs in there. So obviously these are the ABs. And look at that, guys. There's an orange AB. That's a lot. 19 bags. So yes, excited about that. Um, yeah, Paper Legend looks fairly good. And so let's move on. Here is the bag of drills. I don't want to go into detail about the drills at this stage um, because I'm going to have a look at them, you know, in a few minutes. I'm not going to unpack all of them, but we will have a look at them. For now, let's rather just discuss the canvas. So first things first, what I am very impressed about is the look and feel on, of this canvas. This is a velvety, soft, plush canvas. It has... As you can see, it has scalloped edges along all the sides together with poked holes, which means that you shouldn't get fraying and you shouldn't get pieces of canvas or cotton onto your drill field and stuck onto your glue. So first impressions of the canvas, excellent. Very happy to see that some care and attention has been, been taken with the canvas. Now, let's have a look at the image. Wow, you guys. <laughs> I am very, very happy with this. Let me just pan up and down as I chat to you. Obviously, I have had sight of this canvas already because, like I say, I did unbox this, unroll this, whatever you want to call it, about a week ago. And I am very, very happy with what I see. I personally love that the colors on the canvas are fairly muted. They are not exceptionally bright and they are not blowing me out the door, which I really, really like. I just have a good feeling about this. <laughs> so let's chat a bit more about the canvas. Um, in the top left-hand corner here, you can see that's obviously a code. And then the size, it's a 50 by 50 centimeter. In the top right, you have the thumbnail image. And then you have a very clear legend over there showing that this is a canvas with 29 colors. You can also see, guys, that this is a poured glue canvas because it has the see-through cover over it. And overall, looking really, really nice. So as always, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull you closer to the drill field so that we can have a look at the symbols and the clarity of the symbols and so that I can also have a look at them with you. And let's see what we think. Okay, gang, so you are right down close to the canvas now, as am I, and all I can say is, wow. Wow, 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 I am a happy lady today because I can see all of these symbols perfectly. I don't have any light directly onto the canvas, I'm just using natural light through my window and I can see everything 100%. I think this is also because the background colors are fairly muted and soft, so the symbols are actually really easy to see. I mean, you can see here the eights, easy to see, the R's and the G's, easy to see, the other symbols all very clear as well. Let's take a look here on this lighter section here. You can see some blue in the background. Um, there's some symbols there, the S, perfectly clear. Sorry, I'm just, as I'm talking to you, I'm also just having a look. I am very happy, you guys. Um, one thing to note, obviously, is that this is a round drill canvas, and so you can see some of the circles around the symbols and the numbers and the letters. But as I've mentioned before, I like that. I actually like guide circles. I like to be guided when I work on round drill paintings because I do find rounds much more difficult to get straight than squares. You know, squares... Good quality squares. Bad quality squares, the drills and getting your lines straight, it's absolutely impossible. But with good quality squares, the drills sort of click into place. And I almost find it easier to get my drill placement accurate and straight than I do with rounds. So you can, in the darker colors here, see the, the um, 
guide circles are a bit more pronounced. In some of the lighter colors like the Z, I can't even see the guide circles there at all. On the sevens, I can see them very, very slightly. And even like if you have a look at the orange here, it almost looks like it's a square drill painting because you can actually see the square. Um, but then if you look closely, you can see a, a faint circle around it as well. So I think these guide circles or these circles around the symbols are absolutely perfect. And I'm not expecting to have any issues. This all looks great. Right, so I've pulled you back out again now so that we can have a look at some of the drills. I'm not going to unpack this entire bag of drills. I'm just going to show you that it does come, obviously, in this crinkly packet, like most drills do. Then, wow, guys, look at this bag of 939. So we've got the 939. Let's just pull this up a bit. We've got a huge bag of 939. Then I did manage to find the three ABs, which we will have a look at. And then the rest of the drills, what I call the normal drills, are just in these standard um, crinkly bags that you often get with AliExpress stores. They're not my favorite bags, but I mean, it is what it is. It, it doesn't bother me. I wouldn't not buy from the store because they use these crinkly bags. Um, this is fine. You can see all the drills, you know, other than the special drills and that huge bag. You can see all the drills come in this these crinkly packets. Let's see if we can just have a look at, here, yeah, there's a smaller one. Let's see if we can have a closer look at the quality of the drills and see if we're picking up on any issues. Guys, these look very good. I'm not seeing those little dimples in the back. Uh, there may be a tiny bit, but as I've said before, just about all the drills these days have those tiny little dimples in the back and I am working on a couple of canvases now and it's making no difference. There's no problem with them. I don't call that defective drills. They sit down perfectly and there's no issue. So these drills are looking great. So basically, I know I'm making a noise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, those are the drills. <laughs> Then you can see because 939, now this is interesting because in my original piece of art, the background is black. And you can even see, I think, that the drill field itself is black. But yet they have chosen to do all the background in the 939. This 939 is, as it should be, a good quality one because it's looking blue. It's not looking black. I have another canvas where the company claim that it's a 939, but those drills are as black as anything. These ones are the blue. So we'll have to see after I've done it how I feel about the background being in blue. Um, it wasn't designed that way. It is supposed to be black. But obviously, maybe this company feels that they have issues with their 310s, and so they've decided to go with the 939. Then, guys, here are the ABs. There's a beautiful sparkly blue AB. We have a sparkly yellow. A bit more, more of these. Those are really looking sparkly. I'm just trying to catch the light so that you guys can see. But I mean, you know what ABs look like. So I suppose I don't have to do that. And then a big bag of the orange. Now look how many ABs are in here. This is quite a big bag fat bag of ABs. So this is really exciting you guys because I'm almost sure that all the orange on this canvas is going to have this orange AB. Wow you guys I'm excited. I can't wait to work on this. So yeah so all looking very good. I'm very impressed with what I've seen. If I have any concerns it's maybe around the rendering and the computer software that they used. My concerns obviously being that the background should be black, but I've been given it in blue, very dark blue. The other thing just to note, and we will pay more attention to this when I do the post review, is that when I went back onto my computer and I had a good look at this image, um, how I had designed it. There was quite a bit of detail in regard to the body of the dragon and the different colors and slightly different patterns and so on. And I'm not 100% sure that the computer 
rendering has necessarily picked that up. It may be just, you know, just that there are no drills on the canvas yet. And so it's difficult for me to see the detail. I have a sneaky suspicion that some of the detail may have been lost. Um, it doesn't appear that all the detail has been captured on the canvas. But let's reserve judgment and let's discuss that or let me discuss that with you when I do my post review. It will be interesting to see because obviously when you send a custom you would like as much detail as possible to come through in the image. So let's see how this one pans out. All I can say for now I'm very impressed with the quality. This is an AliExpress store and I feel that the canvas, the drills, the symbols, everything is really at this stage top notch. Plus, I've been given AB drills, and a lot of AliExpress stores don't do that. So, yes, gang, looking forward to working on this one and looking forward to getting my post review up, you know, as soon as I can, but will probably only be in May. Anyway, gang, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you are new, please do subscribe. I have a lot of diamond painting content coming up. I really am trying my best to show you guys different stores and stores that you might not have heard of before, but that might be offering really nice quality. And just to give you guys some different places to source your diamond paintings so that, you know, you can diversify and not feel stuck with the two or three big American-based companies. Anyway, gang, let me leave it there. Happy diamond painting, guys. Bye.